Welcome back to the National Hurricane Center. This is Ken Graham right in our operations area. Uh, the time is just after 5 o'clock p.m. and that's why we have the latest update on Tropical Storm Henri. So a couple of the, the new things here. Now we got winds at 40 miles an hour. The winds continue to decrease uh, with time but so does the forward motion. Remember we started off the day around 18 miles an hour. We have now the latest reading I have, seven miles an hour is the forward movement. And that's what we've been advertising. That's what we've been saying is going to happen. Uh, slowly uh, start to make that turn and slow down. Um, so that's what we're looking. So uh, the latest information, we'll start off with the, the radar and the big story is becoming, uh, it has been and it continues to be the rainfall, just heavy rainfall in some areas. Uh, the center of the storm gonna continue to move um, and, and, and northward. We've got the center way up here, but look at all this rain back towards the, the southwest. That whole left part of the storm has had the bulk of the moisture and the bulk of that rain uh, for the majority of the storm. Just heavy tropical rains, um, northern New Jersey, across New York, where we're seeing uh, uh, various flash flood warnings. Please heed those warnings. Just a dangerous situation when you have saturated soil and you put additional tropical moisture on top of that. It just compounds all the issues. Turn around, don't drown. You just don't know or how much water is covering the road and especially we, we talked about going into the evening hours and overnight a lot of this rain is going to fall overnight and, and nighttime travel is just going to be absolutely treacherous so you just got to really be careful in this situation and you know, if you don't have to be on the roads it's probably best not to be so continued heavy rainfall we'll look at some more of that and even getting towards uh, Virginia, around Richmond. Uh, just look at the expanse of some of this tropical moisture. Any one of these areas could see some of that flooding. So you gotta be uh, real careful out there. Let's start looking at our latest forecast. This is the brand new one here. And there's that slowdown and that turn that we've been advertising. So here's the current location of the storm. Watch what happens overnight, early tomorrow morning in this location in western portions of Massachusetts, and then actually making that turn. It's gotta slow down to make that turn, and it does. And the closer these position points are together, and that's a situation that the slower the movement, and those are close, even by tomorrow in western portions of, of Massachusetts, tomorrow afternoon, that's not a lot of travel. So if you think about this entire area here, it's gonna be influenced by this system now, tonight and even tomorrow going to see uh, this heavy rainfall and it's not till you get to uh, overnight and Tuesday start speeding up now look at the distance between those points it speeds up really quick so once it makes this turn and then by the get we get early Tuesday morning start getting back out into the Atlantic it accelerates and by 2 p.m. Tuesday we're well off the off the coast but in the meantime we're gonna have to deal with some some heavy rainfall let's look at some of this this rain a significant situation this is the latest update from the weather prediction center they're looking at uh, the upcoming rain they're looking at uh, the soil conditions and the saturation and how much rain it would take to cause some flash flooding and in some of these areas it's just not going to take much more rain so the area in red here is a moderate risk of flash flooding that's just a, a large portion of Connecticut let's follow it here getting into uh, much of Massachusetts central Massachusetts the, the western part of the state but this is the update looking at that slow movement now you have uh, New Hampshire and Vermont also in that that area Albany um, back towards um, into New York and and also Pennsylvania in the northern part of, uh, of New Jersey here so uh, the Catskills areas like that if you're in these areas especially where there's terrain in some of these these mountainous areas got to be careful you get that rainfall on there and it could get some flash flooding it's extremely extremely dangerous even outside of that a slight risk uh, of some of this uh, could go on as well uh, for portions of boston up to portland maine you can see this large area here including portions of Delaware and even into Philadelphia. But remember this moderate risk, that includes New York City, it includes a uh, ice slip, includes a big portion of, of New York City. So a dangerous situation, please listen to those warnings going into the, uh, the, the future here. This isn't just tonight, this is going into tomorrow, Monday as well, before we get this system um, on out of here. So that's why I wanted to hit the, the rainfall uh, real, real hard here with this broadcast. And I just urge everybody in these areas, just listen when the weather service forecast offices issue those uh, flash flood warnings. You got to have a safe place. Um, a lot of these fatalities in these tropical systems occur in this, this flooding and a lot of those actually in car. So uh, don't drive your car where water covers the road turn around, don't drown. We'll keep you posted on the latest. Um, just gotta stay safe, have a place, get a, have a place to get the warnings, have a way to get the warnings, multiple ways to get those warnings as well. It's setting up to be a pretty dangerous situation. So this has been Ken Graham here in Miami, Florida with the latest information on Tropical Storm Henri.